Hector loves running in the countryside. He keeps an eye on the sheep herd so none of them get lost. When the sheep go too close to the river, Hector barks so they do not fall into the water. When the sun sets, it's time to go home, but Hector is lost. A sheep shows him the way back home. Fortunately, Hector can always count on his friends. Polo the Pony Polo the Pony likes to have shiny hooves. He never misses the opportunity to get them admired. When it is raining, he avoids going outside to keep them clean. But today, Rico the Rooster needs him. Congratulations, Polo! You are a real hero! Yes, but a hero with dirty hooves, thanks Polo. The Mouse Molly loves walking around the house at night when everyone is asleep. Noiselessly, she crosses the living room making sure she doesn't wake up Misty, who is fast asleep. She slips into the kitchen and makes her choice, as if she were at the grocery shop. She decides to bring back a huge and yummy apple to eat later. But my, is it heavy! Oh no, the apple is way too big! Next time, Molly, try to be less greedy! Timbo the Elephant Today, Timbo, the little baby elephant, is born. He is eager to discover the world, but it is difficult to walk straight when you are a baby elephant. But what are these little blue drops falling down from the sky? Timbo gets closer and explores around with his trunk. It's water! He is so happy, he jumps underneath the water spray straight away. Splash! Timbo falls heavily into the puddle. Why do I fall all the time? He moans sadly. His mummy tenderly reassures him. You just need a little bit more practice, my little Timbo. To comfort him, his mummy rolls into the puddle as well. But at that game, Timbo is by far the best. Leo the Lion Leo contemplates the jumping antelope. She is so fast. If I were a giraffe, I could reach all the leaves at the top of the trees, thinks Leo. When it's this hot, it must be really nice to be able to shower ourselves, thinks Leo. What can I do, thinks Leo, walking around the lake. Suddenly, he sees his friend Leah surrounded by crocodiles and rushes to help her. Thank you, Leo. You are the king of all the animals, says Leah. Noel the Owl The birds are singing in the forest, except for Noel the Owl, who just opens an eye. Come and play hide and seek, suggests the frog. But Noel is not in the mood for seeking. Shall we have a race? asks Crunch the squirrel. Noel prefers to stay perched on his branch. Bernard the bear climbs the tree to keep Noel company. But Noel is fast asleep. Night falls. Now, Noel is wide awake, but where are all his friends? Going to the potty. I have always worn a nappy, but Mummy says it's time I started going to the toilet like a big kid. So how do big kids do it if they don't wear nappies? Mummy tells me their secret. They go to the toilet. But me... I have my very own potty. When I need to do a wee or a poo, I pull down my pants and sit on my potty like a royalty on a throne. Then, with a little push, it's all done. Afterwards, I wipe my bottom with toilet paper and wash my hands to make sure I'm all clean. Now that I know how to go to the toilet like a big kid, I can show all the little ones. Sca I am not scared of the dark. I am not scared of the dark. Not at all. It is Cuddles who doesn't like waking up in the middle of the night. To make Cuddles feel better, I switch on the nightlight. Cuddles is still a bit frightened, so I show him that there are no monsters under the bed. Mummy comes to check on us. She brings a glass of warm milk. Mummy gives us both a really big hug. 
Cuddles gradually drifts back to sleep. I am happy that I was able to comfort him. Capuchin's Treasure Capuchin is a clever little monkey. He loves climbing up trees, and this morning, from up in the coconut tree, he sees something shiny. Intrigued, he runs to the beach. What is it? Walk like a monkey. It's a bottle that the little monkey cannot open. Thankfully, Lucas the crab comes to the rescue. With his claws, he removes the cork easily. Quick, what does the message say? Walk sideways like a crab and shake your hands as though they are claws. There's a hidden treasure on Bird Island. Great, but how do I get there? Capuchin could never swim there. Climb on my shell, says Zumba the turtle. What a good idea. And the three of them are off. Roll yourself up in a ball as though you were hiding in your shell. Then slowly relax as though you were coming out. They cross the sea on Zumba's back. But Capuchin turns around and splash! They're in the water! Good thing that the beach is close by. The little monkey runs to the shore. Pretend that you were swimming with your arms and your legs. They look for the treasure but seem to go around in circles. Capuchin stops and reads the message again. You will find the treasure at the foot of the leaning tree. But where is that tree? After circling the island, they find the leaning tree. Turn around in a circle. At the foot of the tree, Capuchin and his friends dig and unearth a huge box. What's inside? Some beautiful jewels and a sparkling crown for Capuchin. Bravo! Capuchin is the king of the island. Stamp your feet together and clap your hands. Mateo wants to play. The sun is high in the savanna sky. It's time to nap, but lion cub Mateo does not want to sleep. He wants to play. He quietly comes out of his shelter. You too, walk without making a noise. He quickly goes off to join Leah but she is resting on a baobab branch. Come and play with me, he says, hopping on one leg. No, says the little cub, all grumpy. She turns away and goes back to sleep. Who is Mateo going to play with? Hop on one leg, like Mateo. He can play with Gasper. The little jaguar is awake, but his daddy isn't happy that someone has disturbed him. He roars. Mateo jumps and quietly walks away backwards. Is there really no one to play with him? Get down on your knees and walk backwards. Lily the gazelle invites him to jump over the bush. Mateo can't do it, so he runs off. Crouch and try to jump up high. And he meets Armand a bit further down the path. What's wrong, Mateo? asks the snake. I'm bored. Come for a stroll with me. The snake invites him to crawl with him. But Mateo isn't going very fast and decides to walk back on all fours. Crawl slowly like the snake. At last, Mateo is tired. He starts yawning and soon goes to sleep alongside his mummy. He cannot see that Leah, Gasper, Armand, and Lily have come to fetch him to play. Lie down and sleep like Mateo. Zook the monkey. Zook would like to be noticed by pretty Zazie, but he is too shy. Zook swings at the end of a liana, 
but he is terrified to jump from one tree to another. Zook would really love to jump into the river as the gorilla does, but he cannot swim. While the gorilla shows off his strength, Zazie is slightly bored. Zook invites her on his liana. He can tell stories so nicely that he can be listened to for hours. Misty the Cat Misty doesn't like the water. He stays on the lake's banks even when it's really hot. Misty spends hours playing with his ball. Oops, it has fallen into the lake. Misty would really like to recover his ball. He reaches out, but the ball just moves further. Splash! Misty has fallen into the water. His friend the frog rushes over to help him out. Actually, it's really convenient to know how to swim. Misty asks his friend to teach him how. Tim the Tiger Mummy Tiger has three cubs. Tom, the oldest, then Tina, and last but not least, Tim. Mom, Tom's taking up all the space, complains Tim. Mom, Tina has the best bit, whines Tim. Mummy Tiger wanders off. Stop messing around over there. But Tom tumbles into the river. Tim and Tina hold out a branch and pull their brother out of the water. Is everything okay? asks Mummy on her return. Yes, yes, the three little tigers reply, sharing a wink and a smile. Hannah the Hen Hannah the Hen is terribly forgetful. She loses everything. Now, where did I lay my eggs? she wonders. Hannah discovers some eggs beside the pond, but they seem a bit big. What are you doing on my eggs? demands Mother Duck. Hannah finds some other eggs by the farm, but these ones are huge. Mother Goose chases her away from the nest. Hannah spies another nest and hurries over. But these eggs are far too small, she wails. So Mother Dove decides to help. The dove comes across some little pieces of shell. Look, Hannah, that's why you couldn't find your eggs. Leon the Sheep Leon the Sheep always feels happy in the sunshine of the valley. He finds it much too cold at the top of the mountain. Today the shepherd is shearing the sheep. It's Leon's turn. Poor Leon. He has lost his warm, woolly coat. His friends ask the shepherdess if she can help. Thank you. That's much better. I tidy my bedroom. Daddy is cleaning the house today. He has decided to start in my bedroom. I asked Daddy to let me tidy up first. With Cuddle's help, I will be done in no time. I start by putting away my clothes. Cuddle's gets to work on the toys. Look, Cuddle's has found my favorite toy car. And here is the t-shirt that has been missing for days. My room is all tidy. Daddy is pleased with me. While he gives it a good clean, I take Cuddles to play in the living room. Going to the dock? I'm not feeling very well this morning. Mummy says that I'm ill and that I have to go to the doctor's. The doctor is big and a bit magic. He does lots of strange things. He looks in my mouth with a lollipop stick. He uses some funny headphones to listen to my heart. He taps my knee with a little hammer, and all of a sudden, he knows what's wrong with me. I have the flu. I'm not really sure what that is, but the main thing is, he says I'll get better soon. Abby's Farm Abby wakes up and stretches. The little cow is rested, but she is surprised that she slept so long. The sun is already high up in the sky, and the farmer's not come to the barn yet. How very strange. Stretch like Abby. The cow goes out into the courtyard and calls Adrian. Startled, the dog wakes up. Adrian, sorry to wake you, but did you see the farmer? moos Abby. No, he answers, shaking his head, yawning.
He must be in the chicken coop. You too. Jump as though you were startled. Unfortunately, no one has seen the farmer. Yet the chickens cluck in the backyard. What is he doing? We're all so hungry. Walk like a chicken, going back and forth, moving your head. The cow goes to the pond. The ducks are paddling in the water. No, sorry, Abby. I haven't seen the farmer. Quacks the duck. Well, squat down and move like a duck waddling about. At last, all the animals go back to the farm and notice that the shutters are closed. Has the farmer gone off in the night? Would he have left us alone here? Abby taps the floor with her hoofs. Everybody says what they think. It's very noisy. They're all singing, mooing, barking, quacking. It's terribly noisy. Tap your feet like Abby. Suddenly, the animals all raise their head as the shutters open. What a surprise! The farmer only forgot to wake up. Now, quick, he has to hurry. Thanks, Abby. Without you, the farmer would still be asleep. Run on the spot as quickly as you can, lifting your knees up high.